today I have a haul for you. This is very rare for me because I tend to not purchase before the VIB sale, but Ulta had a, um, released like 20% off everything in their um, store. Um, I think they did that early because typically they do that after the VIB sale. But anyway, they released that. I got one. I had to take advantage, place an order, as well as Max Holiday's um, collection came out and I couldn't help myself. And Bobby Brown. Yeah, I know. This is a lot before the VIB sale. The VIB sale for me starts tonight. Um, I will be going with my BFF sister. So you'll probably see that haul after this one. So just brace yourself, guys. Um, I tend to only get a few things here and maybe Black Friday. I don't know. What am I going to do? I know it's a lot, but this is the time of year where I splurge. I get things for everyone, gifts for people, gifts for family. So I can't help myself, guys. If they give me coupons, what can I do? So anyway, I am going to start off with Bobby Brown because that's the smallest that uh, haul section that I have. So let's show you those. You have seen these on Instagram. I couldn't help myself. Uh, Bobby Brown came out with limited edition shimmer bricks and um, highlighters. And I am, let me just tell you guys, I am the oiliest person in the world, my face. And I cannot get enough of highlighting. I cannot get enough of highlighters. I don't care what time of year it is. I don't care how oily I am. I need to put on my highlight. I'm just a highlight freak. I don't know. I want to shine. I like my highlight. So anyway, so I purchased the three of the limited edition ones. I, I did not get the fourth one because in person it just looked too chunky, too glittery. So I... I skipped out on that one so the first one is sandstone sandstone guys this is what i'm wearing today on the cheekbones look at that it is gorgeous 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 i can't tell you guys enough i love this one this one i think is the one that will go with most skin tones um because it is not so yellow it's more of a, um, a rose gold, I would say. Like it's a little bit more rosy than beige, but it's not so gold as the next one I'm gonna show. The next one is <sighs> Copper Diamond. I love gold highlights, love gold highlights. So this is the next one, Copper Diamond. This is definitely gold. So if you do not like gold, skip out on this one. You're not gonna like this one. So that one is copper diamond right over here copper diamond sandstone we're gonna have a highlighted highlighted hand so that's the second one that i got and the last one which i have not even swatched you guys is look at this packaging isn't it beautiful i love the packaging all three of them have different packaging this one is bronze gold it came out with two pink glow and bronze glow i went with the bronze gold look at this look at that I gotta show you guys up close because look how pretty that is. It's so pretty. I love you. I'm gonna swatch a little corner for you guys. And it is so soft. So soft, you guys. So soft. Look at that. If you do not like gold, don't go with this one. If you like more of a pinky one, go with the pink low. So those are the three ones that I got. And I am obsessed with these, you guys. I'm going to tell you real quick, you guys are probably wondering, Alex, those are expensive. Why, why, why? Okay, so each of these were 45 bucks. Yes, I know. But this is how I justify it. My mother has had bronze, the bronze shimmer break since I was about 10. That's, she's had it for 20 years and that sucker is still going strong. She has yet to hit pan. She has a dent in it, but she has yet to hit pan on it. She's used it as eyeshadow. She's used it as everything you can think of. That woman still has bronze shimmer break. So I told myself, these are going to last me forever, forever. It is worth the investment. It's, it's not going to go bad. These are gorgeous. So I had to get all three. I could not decide. Mr. Man was so generous enough to give me a gift card. So 
I'm gonna go get it. So these are the first three that I got. Now on to Mac. I am known as the Mac girl who pretends to buy Mac. And why I'm telling you this is because every time I go to my Mac counter, it's attached to Macy's, I cannot, cannot get myself to purchase a blush, a lipstick, anything that has to do eyeshadow. I can get myself highlighters perfectly fine. I, can, I have all the MSFs. I love them. I can get myself um, pressed pigments. I love their pressed pigments. But I can't ever get myself to buy a blush or an eyeshadow, eyeliner, a brush, something that everyone and their mom has. I do not own any of those. So, of course you guys know what I'm going to show you guys from the collection that came out, the Heirloom, Heirloom collection. The packaging is gorgeous and I could not decide between which set I wanted. So, I just went ahead and bought all four because I just couldn't help myself. What I'm talking to you guys about is the pressed pigment, or the actual loose pigments. Whenever, I got last year's collection and I absolutely love them. So of course when this year they showed that they were going to send uh, release more pigments, I had to jump on it. I couldn't help myself. I had to jump on them. They're going to last me forever. I will never hit a dent on these. I'll probably be, in. my kid will be inheriting these because I will never go through them. And a full size of a MAC one, you'll never go through. So why not get the collection from the holiday? One of them, I don't know which one, was only available online. This one right here, only available online. I'm not sure if it's still available online or if it's officially sold out. But the rest of the three that I will show you are already in the stores at MAC. So, and of course these I can like buy real quick without hesitation. But anything else, I can't. I don't know. I'm, maybe for Christmas I'll ask for something. I don't know. So look at the packaging of these. Aren't these beautiful? Beautiful. They're like a little box and they're glittery and all I have it's black, gray and white and they have a little woman on them. Isn't that pretty? So I can reuse these boxes. And this is the first one. This is the bronze pigment and glitter set. So you get 5 and these are 35 a piece. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am in love. In love, in love. So that's the first one. The second one is the silver and blue. Silver and blue came with the white cap. Isn't that pretty? Silver and the blue. Four pigments and one glitter is what you get. The next one that I got is gold and beige. And this one comes with the gray packaging. This one's so pretty. This is the closest to the bronze one, so if you if you missed out on the bronze, I would get this one. It's the most neutral one you're going to find. And then the last one, which I thought was very, very unique, and I think that this one is one of those that if you do not have it in your collection, I would recommend getting this one. If you're only going to pick one, it's the pink and rose one. And this one's so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love this one. This one comes with tan. So if you want tan pigment, yeah, this one comes with tan. So this one's tan right here. So if you don't have tan, I would get this set. So you can get tan right there. So, and then it says MAC right here. Isn't this so cute? I love these. I love these. I can't wait to display them. So these are the pigments. They have a million things. They came out with lip gloss set. They came out with brush set, brushes. Um, they came out with eyeshadow pressed pigments lip glosses, of course, anything to do with eyes, shadow, eyes, I'm all about it. So I got all four of these. I got to thank Mr. Man again because he's the one that purchased these for me. So, yeah. Now on to Ulta, you guys. I have not opened this box up. All I did was cut it up because I didn't want to take forever on here. So you guys will see first impressions as well as if I like it or not. I don't even remember what I ordered, to be honest with you. So first thing is that I picked some samples, which honestly I don't need anymore. I have a full duffel bag full of them. So these are just samples. The next thing that I got, which I did not get in this order, but I did buy it over the weekend because I had to. And my lovely friend Chelsea recommended this, so I had to jump on it. I bought the Smashbox On The Rocks Limited Edition Palette. Have not opened it, I got it. 
Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Look how pretty. And it is like squishy soft. She told me this is a very, very soft and pigmented palette. So of course eyeshadows, eyeshadows. This has a metal opening right here. Look, isn't that pretty? And oh, 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 big old mirror. And there are the eyeshadows. So if you guys want to see a look, I will probably do a review on this. This is the first thing that I purchased. Let's see what else is in here. Comes with a book to do looks with it. So if you are a beginner, this is something so nice that you can use. There's some in the back, of course. So that came with the box. So I'm just going to toss the box instead of repackaging everything. So that's the first thing I got. Now, the next things that I did get, oh, I don't even remember. <laughs> I forget is the cargo Shanghai Nights eyeshadow palette now this is also available in uh, Kohl's website and I was going to get the Kohl's website one because I wanted to also get the the new to dude one the dude one that just came out but I'll probably wait for that one because that's not limited edition so I'll wait to get that one after the holidays but this one is it's Shanghai Nights eyeshadow palette isn't that pretty I do like cargo palettes. I have a few of them. So when I saw this one, oh, I had to get it. It's a little bit chalky on here. So this is what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? It comes with a double-sided brush. Um, it looks like it has one, two, three, four, four mattes. And then the rest have either shimmer or glitter to them. So this is a really pretty palette especially for a gift. I think this would be nice. So this is the next thing that I purchased, which you probably didn't expect me to. Then the next um, product that I got is from It Cosmetics. It is the It Cosmetics Hello Light Anti-Agent Radiant Illuminating Powder because you know I love my highlights, people. I cannot not my mother has this and I saw it so I loved it I had to get it I just had to get it so that's what it looks like isn't that pretty it's kind of like a champagne beigey color and the last three products that I got are blushes as you know Becca is sold online and I wanted three blushes, so I picked up three different blushes from Becca. So I'm going to open these up for you guys so you guys can see them. So this is what they look like. I'm sure you guys have seen them. The first one that I got is Songbird. Oh, look how pretty that is. So that is Songbird. The next one is Dam, Dam's Fly. That's the next one. I'll put them all three together so you guys can see them. I, I do not own any Becca blushes at all. And I've wanted them for a very long time. So I figured I'd take advantage and get the 20% off of Ulta. And I'll get something else at the Sephora. Because I was planning on getting these at the VIB sale. But I didn't. And the last one that I got is Flower Child. So that's Flower Child. So I'm going to put all three of these together so you guys can see them. First one was Songbird. The next one is Dam's Flies, you could see. And then the last one is Flower Child. So those are the three that I picked. They pretty. And tell me why I can spend 40 bucks on one blush, but I cannot get myself to spend $21 on a MAC one. I don't know. I don't know, but these I've wanted for a very long time. So I picked three of these up. I'm not allowed. I told myself I'm not allowed to buy any more blushes. No more blushes. And let's see. That is it. So that is all that I got from my haul. I'm sure you guys are like, that's it. Like, what do you mean that's it? That's a lot of money. I know. But I got 20% off um, the gift card I got to get the Bobbi Brown stuff. So I really didn't spend too much. And Mr. Man was so kind enough to get me those pigments. So technically, I didn't spend too much myself, per se. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my haul. I hope you guys got some sort of inspiration to put down on your Christmas list, Black Friday, 
um, the VIB sale. Some of these products you can get at Sephora. So if you are contemplating, I know it starts tomorrow. For a lot of you guys, if you are Rouge, you're probably doing it tonight with me and my sister. There are a few things that I do want to get. So you guys will probably see a haul after the VIB sale has officially ended. Just in case I want to go back and get other things for 20% off. Because I tend to do that. I, I, I can't, just can't. I buy one thing for one day and then I'm like, oh, I should have got that. And then go back and get it. So I will wait till after the 10th to show you my haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to see any reviews on any of the products that I have shown you guys here, let me know and I'll be more than happy to do that for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye guys.